Hello folks, thanks for joining me. Yes, hi, just continuing on from that last clip. I just thought I'd bring you in on this because, you know, I've actually made, I've made a mistake here. I've had an accident and, but we can talk about it. <laughs> um, the, this particular pot, the width of the, the width of the neck, the here, the top, wouldn't would not fit through the throat of my chuck. So I couldn't really use it to trim the pot. So as one can sometimes do, and I do occasionally. use something like that it's a kind of a bit of an emergency I'm only doing it because I didn't really have any other option to trim to trim the pot but it gave me the the depth that I needed um, you know and in certain cases it will it will suffice very nicely something like that but what happened was it spun off the wheel and in the process of doing that while I was, while I was trimming it and my tool just dug, dug in a little bit too much and I don't know if you can see what's happened I've pushed through the bottom unfortunately by, by mistake so I've got to actually do I've got to do a repair got to do an emergency repair on that so I'm going to use my stick here and then try to push the bottom back in situ okay I've kind of pushed it back but of course that isn't going to do it so I'm going to have to take a little water I'm just gently pushing down gently pushing down on the the bottom that it pushed through if you follow me now down in my tray here in the bottom of my tray I've got some nice some nice slurry so I'm going to take that slurry on the sponge and I'm going to ram the sponge back down with the slurry on it and work that slurry back on top of the bit that had been lifted. I'm going to try to try to make Okay, well, of course it's going to take a bit more of that slurry. I've got to basically build this back up again, you know, the, the inside of this. Of course, this is softening it. Got a little bit of clay here. So 
See if we can uh, roll out a bit of clay. Um, let's put this over here. Sometimes, you know, when you get to a certain point in a pot, you know, you've thrown it, you've nurtured it, you've nursed it, you've kissed it, you've done all the things. You get to a certain point and you think, oh no, I've got to just, just throw it away now. So, you know, you have to sort of weigh up, well, actually, I put a lot of work into this already, therefore I'm just going to do a little bit more just to save it, you know. It's it's worth doing that sometimes. I'm putting a coil of clay in around here. Are we in the picture? Just move it in a touch. Yeah, okay, there he is. So I've got to make the best here of a bad situation. Never, never, never a bad thing to learn how to do that. takes a bit of care and a bit of time and a lot of people might think oh well the time you're taking to do that you might as well just throw another one yeah well I know that but you know it's kind of a wanting to wanting to to restore something back um, I like mending things. Well, if I can see that there's a there's hope to being able to fix it without too much trouble. Chances are I'll have a go at doing it rather than scrap it. So I've done that there. I'm just going to get the stick again. So I'm going round and round with the stick, the handle end of the stick on the join, and on the in out, on the outside here, as you saw me, I've put. I put a piece of um, a coil of clay I put a coil of clay there also over that over that join ah, I've got actually in my In my toolbox, I've got a, a spatula, which would be a good tool. I'm taking little pieces of clay now and squidging them between my fingers so they're kind of thin. And I'm, I'm 
building up layers of clay here. In, within the foot ring. If I can find that um, spatula, yeah, here it is. I think the last of the summer crickets are chirping before we head into winter or deep autumn probably not going to be able to do a lot with this uh, now tonight yeah, it's about six o'clock now. It's getting dark. As you can see, I've got my lights on. The sun has gone, pretty much. So I'm kind of building it up and Smoothing it in, working it in gently, being careful not to apply too much downward pressure, otherwise it will just push through. What I'll do is I'll just get so far with this now, leave it overnight, leave it out, and then in the morning. Looks like we're going to have a sunny day again tomorrow. I like sunny days, we can get the pots outside and get them dry. Okay, so not much more to do with this really. I reckon there's a good chance we'll save him. I know it's not a very, maybe not a very interesting clip, but you know, that's tough. <laughs> that's what's going on here today, now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, there it is. I think that's all we're going to do for, with that right now. It's a bit precarious to see trying to trim a pot with a narrow neck like I'm doing. So there it is. Another bodge. <laughs> Are you a bodger? <laughs> okay, folks, well, I think that's it. Not much more we can do with that. Ah. 
feel the, the cool of the evening drawing in fast. All right. Okay, folks. Well, this is Simon Leach saying, hang on in there. <laughs> be a bodger if you have to be. <laughs> a restorer. Keep practicing. Bye-bye.